I'm Mark Han, Program Director of the Master of Fine Arts at DigiPen. I started in digital arts way back in the early 90s with Rhythm and Hues Studios in Los Angeles and after a few years shifted over to Pixar where I joined for the original Toy Story crew. Uh, continuing through seven different films on there including A Bug's Life and Monsters and Incredibles. Finally, after working on Brave, I decided it was time for a change and came up to DigiPen in uh, 2013. Since I've been here, I uh, took the role of Program Director for the Master of Fine Arts in Digital Arts, and it's been great. The program is designed for people who are artists already that have completed their bachelor's degrees, but are really interested in digital art and digital media, specifically in uh, production. So that means working in a team environment to uh, create artwork for games or films or other kinds of avenues. So the first year of the program starts off with um, getting everybody on a level playing field, understanding how to use uh, Photoshop for digital painting and using Maya uh, for 3D modeling and, and the other things that are done there and uh, uh, basically getting everybody prepared. The first year has a variety of uh, courses that students take that essentially are getting them ready for doing their thesis work, which is planned for the second year of study. And so that's going to be an individualized project of their own design, and the electives that they choose also will be geared towards uh, pursuing that thesis. DigiPen's program is different from others in that we really do focus on uh, preparation for production art and the, the needs of moving uh, uh, into industry. And uh, specifically, uh, we let students choose their area of focus, whether it's in uh, 2D art or design or in uh, 3D. But the idea is that by the time they're done, they're uh, ready to uh, step in uh, and take a role in uh, a production company. First, the students have to be serious about what they're doing. DigiPen is a very demanding uh, school, and the, uh, we ask a lot of the students, but at the same time, the students get a lot because they're asking a lot of themselves. Uh, that's what it takes to be successful. So uh, students really be, need to be prepared to work hard. They need to have a goal that relates to the strengths of the program, and that is you know, preparation in, in production art. Um, and they need to know what they want to say as an artist and, and really have that passion. The graduate students in the MFA definitely have an opportunity to make their own personal statement and to focus on the things that they're interested in and to build a portfolio that really sets themselves apart. The main way they do that is through the thesis project because the thesis is a year-long study uh, specifically of their own design and we don't put a lot of uh, um, uh, rules or limitations as to uh, the kinds of topics they can approach and, and we spend a lot of time exploring the vast array of possibilities in digital arts, but uh, uh, that's where the students can, can make a defining statement. In addition to their required courses, they have a full year of largely elective work, and they can also do independent studies with the faculty and essentially create a course of their own design. So in the portfolio, there are a variety of things that we look for. There are a number of required elements. For example, figurative work, 
uh, we look for intermediate and long form uh, drawing of uh, people uh, from in observation, meaning not working from photograph, but actually with a model sitting live and uh, doing that work. We also look for gesture uh, studies, which are uh, short drawings of, uh, say, three to five minutes. And so that's really about getting the flow of the character. And again, those would all be observational. One of the things we ask for in the portfolio as well is a creativity piece. And that is, we're asking you to create a brand new piece of art that is your personal view or interpretation of current events. So pick a story out of the newspaper and create a piece of art about that. We're not expecting a literal interpretation or recreation of, of that story. We're asking you to tell us what do you think about it and do that in visual form. In addition, we'd like you to write about that story, reference um, the actual story and event, and then tell us how your work relates to that. One choice that you can do is to do um, urban sketches, or some call them cafe sketches, which are just quick studies uh, from life. It's sitting in a, that coffee shop and, and drawing the people at the counter, or going to the zoo and, and, and sketching animals, and, and basically just capturing daily life. That's an alternative uh, that you can do to the gesture drawing. Another uh, main thing that you have to demonstrate is that you're strong with color and composition. A lot of what you do, well, you'll have to be composing images, whether you're working in, in 2D or 3D, and you'll have coursework in um, uh, visual design that you'll need to be uh, solid there. Uh, that doesn't mean that you can't put your own stamp on what you're submitting and uh, there is a section which is a uh, range of skill and that's you show us what makes you special as an artist. Have you done a lot of uh, sculptural work or uh, digital work or have you done uh, some production work already, character designs or, or animation? Show us that, we'd love to see it. The program is great for a lot of people but Certain people's goals don't align with what we are trying to do with the program. For example, uh, those wanting to do studio art and such, maybe this isn't the best fit. Another thing is that if you notice the difference between our undergraduate program, the BFA in digital art and animation, compared to the MFA in digital art, animation is left off of the MFA. And that's simply because if somebody comes in without animation experience, we can't claim legitimately to get you up to speed in order to be a professional in that area. If you come to us with animation background already, great, we have faculty from Disney and other places that we can work with you on that, but uh, you can't come expecting to go from uh, zero to master in uh, the short time that you're with us. The MFA in Digital Arts is supported by three separate departments, Fine Arts, Digital Arts, and Animation and Production. So each of those groups of faculty have their own specializations and all contribute to supporting the program. Many of the faculty have industry backgrounds, some from Disney, my own from Pixar, and a variety of other places and game studios. Each of the departments brings um, something new. So in the fine arts, that's where they'll focus on traditional skills. Digital arts are all about uh, the new technologies and lighting, texturing, modeling, and things like that. The um, animation and production is uh, well, the first thing that you're going to experience is a team project where all the grad students are broken into teams and uh, they'll complete a project working together uh, in their second semester. In order to be successful at DigiPen, you really do need to have solid foundations in your traditional art. Uh, you need to be good at drawing, need to be solid in color and composition, and uh, 
skills like perspective and other kinds of things. So, you know, that's the real uh, background that we look for. We don't require that uh, you have real experience in um, in digital media. That's what you're coming to DigiPen for. But um, uh, it's it's those foundational skills that will make you ready for the program. The biggest challenges that students commonly have are uh, how much we ask of the students and time management. So. Uh, uh, expect to have to you know spend a lot of hours uh, working on this uh, material but it's all to the good right because you want to come out it's a fairly uh, compact program but you want to come out uh, really having a strong portfolio the best way to prepare for the program is to continue to be an artist to go out and draw to uh, learn new things. Uh, if you are interested in something, go and try it. Uh, uh, there are plenty of self-learning opportunities that you can do in uh, video training or uh, to take informal courses to uh, just keep yourself active. Um, the biggest thing is to not stop working. I've always been really amazed and inspired by the complexity of the natural world and how computers have to be uh, worked and controlled to produce anything beyond spheres and cubes. When I first was working, I was looking at things like uh, uh, clothing and, and crowds and, and flocks of birds and trying to imagine how could you make a computer do that? What makes those things move and behave the way that they do? So that's always been my inspiration is, is how to get the complexity of the natural world and render that using a digital tool.